Kwa hivyo bara waziri palamang palamang gamba gabuni karibu zina gubu sana Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Mheshimiwa Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta Mheshimiwa Naib Rais wa Kenya William Samoy Ruto Mheshimiwa Waziri Mkuu Mstaafu wa Kenya Mheshimiwa Raila Amoro Dinga Mheshimiwa Senator Yusuf Haji Mwenyekiti wa Kikosi Kazi ya Task Force Kikosi Kazi cha jitihada za ujenzi wa madaraja katika Jamhuri ya Kenya. Nichukue fursa hii kuanza kabisa kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu Rahim kwa kuturuzuku uhai na kutujaria buheri ya afya iliyotuwezesha kukusanyika hapa siku ya leo kwa jambo hili adhim na azizi Pili nichukue fursa hii kumshukuru sana Mheshimiwa Rais wa Kenya kwa heshima hii kubwa alionipa nisiyo hisstahili kuweza kuzungumza na kaumu hii kubwa kaumu iliyojaa bashasha kaumu iliyojaa hamasa ya watu wa Kenya leo ndugu zangu wa Kenya mnafanya jambo lisilokuwa la kawaida namshukuru sana rais wangu mheshimiwa dr john pombe joseph magufuli ambaye alinipendeza nitume kuja Kenya juzi usiku kama mjumbe maalum ya yani special envoy umeona mheshimiwa rais Kenyatta na kwa sababu jana alikuwa na shughuli nyingi nilipata fursa ya kumuona jioni ili kumletea salamu na ujumbe kutoka Tanzania Tuliongea mengi na uhusu mahusiano kati ya Kenya na Tanzania yanayohusu kanda yetu na yanayohusu masuala ya kimataifa na moja ambalo mheshimiwa Dr. John Pombe Joseph Magufuli alinituma nije lilete Kenya ni kueleza wa Kenya that the United Republic of Tanzania supports the candidature of Kenya for the non permanent seat in the United Nations General Security Council. The support of Tanzania, the unflinching support of Tanzania is guaranteed because we believe Kenya has the competence to articulate but also to, to be able to protect the interest of Africa in the United Nations Security Council. So we'll be together in that journey of making sure that Kenya gets that position and uh, it will be a proud not only to Kenya but also to Tanzania and there are many other issues which we discussed which are not for public consumption now because the more strategic bas baada ya mazungumzo hayo mshimiwa rais Kenyatta aliniomba nibaki kwa shughuli hii ya leo nami nikamweleza sina kibari kutoka kwa rais Magufuli kubaki kabla sijafika hotelini nikapokea simu ya rais Magufuli akanambia nini kimekusibu huko nikamwambia ah, mambo mengi na yamekwenda vizuri na rais Kenyatta ameniomba nibaki kwa ajili ya shughuli kesho akasema hayo sio maombi ni maelekezo
na maelekezo ya rais Kenyatta ni maelekezo yangu kwa nipo hapa kwa maelekezo sio maombi kwa sababu maombi ya mkubwa ni maelekezo maombi ya mdogo ni maombi hata sisi wa Tanzania tunaposema naomba iko naomba kweli naomba lakini iko naomba na kwamba lazima unipe lakini bado nasema naomba na naomba tafadhali lakini ole wako usifanye hivyo kwa hiyo mheshimiwa rais amenituma nilete salamu zake kwenu ndugu zake wa Kenya Rais Magufuli anasema anawapongeza wa Kenya kwa kuepusha shari na kuleta shere. Rais Magufuli anawapongeza wa Kenya kwa kuondoa uhasama na kuleta tabasamu. Lakini zaidi anawapongeza kwa kuondoa hofu na wasiwasi na kujenga matumaini matumaini mapya kwa watu wengi kwa hiyo kwa wanaume wote wa Kenya kwa wanaume kwa wanawake wote wa Kenya niwape hongera nipigie ni makofi kwa sababu hongera anapewa mwanamke na kwa wanaume wote wa Kenya niwape kongole sasa mwanaume anapewa kongole lakini kwa wakenya wote ni waletee pongezi Kenya na Tanzania sio majirani tu ni ndugu tena undugu wetu ni undugu wa damu tunazungukwa sisi tuna majirani nchi nane lakini nchi ambayo makabila au jamii tunazochangia nyingi kuliko zote ni Kenya. Wawe ni wadigo wa Kenya na Tanzania, wawe ni wataita wa Kenya na Tanzania, wawe ni wakamba wa Kenya na Tanzania, wawe ni wamasai wa Kenya na Tanzania, wawe ni wakuria wa Kenya na Tanzania, wawe ni wajaluo wa Kenya na Tanzania, wawe ni wasuba wa Kenya na Tanzania. Lakini kwa nini watu hawafahamu? Au hawajui? Ni kwa sababu Tanzania hatuzungumzi makabila. Tanzania hatukuzi makabila. Makabila yapo. Lakini hatu ya tukuzi. Hatu ya kuzi. Ndio maana wengi hawajui kwamba Tanzania kuna wadigo. Wadigo wa Msambweni na wadigo wa Tanga ni wale wale lakini kule wale wadigo ni wa Tanzania wale wa Masai ni wa Tanzania wale wa Kamba ni wa Tanzania na ya, na, na tunamshukuru sana baba wa taifa marehemu mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere ambaye mwaka huu tumekuwa na kumbukizi kumbukizi remembrance kumbukizi ya miaka ishirini tangu alipo yaaga dunia na tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba kama kuna mtu kule Tanzania amegoma kufa amekataa kufa ni Julius Kambarage Nyerere na yeye alitusaidia kujenga taifa moja linalotokana na nasaba na asili mbalimbali na sio tu kwa wale waliotoka Tanzania lakini hata waliotoka nje ya Tanzania baba zao na babu zao wakaja Tanzania wao wakazaliwa Tanzania na siajabu wengi mnafahamu wako watu waliotoka Kiambu wa Kikuyu wakaenda Iringa Mfindi kwenye mashamba ya chai wakazaa watoto na hao watoto mmoja wao alikuwa ni Joseph James Mungai ambaye mwaka 
Mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere alimteua kuwa waziri wa kilimo akiwa na umri wa miaka 29 at the age of 29 tena alimchagua akiwa nje ya nchi akiwa Canada anafanya masomo ya uzamili ya postgraduate studies na Joseph James Bungai alipokuwa narejea Tanzania ili kuapishwa kuwa waziri alisimama hapa Kenya na miongoni mwa watu waliokwenda kumpokea na kumpongeza alikuwa Dr. Njoroge Mngai. Na mdogo wake Paul Mngai alipanda katika jeshi mpaka akawa Major General. Lakini Mtanzania mwingine mwenye asili ya Kikuyu, Karanja alipanda mpaka kuwa mkurugenzi mkuu ya Director General wa taasisi ya utafiti wa misitu Tanzania Forest Research Institute. Hiyo ndio Tanzania ambayo tungependa na nyinyi ndugu zetu wa Kenya mfanane nasi. Na leo kwangu mimi jana niliongea na mheshimiwa Rais Kenyatta. Mimi unaweza kanita kaguthi sawa nafanana na kikuyu kidogo na hasa meno yangu lakini natoka katikati ya Tanzania kwenye bonde la ufa Tanzania na nyanya mzaa mama yangu kama angekuwa Kenya ni mkipsigis lakini Tanzania ni Tanzania hiyo tunaleta salamu kwenu za kuwaomba watu wa Kenya kujenga Kenya yenye umoja Kenya yenye mshikamano Kenya yenye undugu Kenya inayotaka kuleta maendeleo na muachane na maradhi ya siasa za kikabila maradhi hayo ya siasa za kikabila yamewapa madhila makubwa na madhila ya Kenya ni madhila ya Tanzania Meruhusu mambo hayo ya ukabila kwa muda mrefu yamelea rushwa na bahati mbaya katika bara la Afrika tumeruhusu mno siasa za madaraka politics of power badala ya siasa za maendeleo politics of development kuni wakati sisi wote tuzungumzie politics of development na ndicho hicho kitu kimeletwa na hatua hii ambayo mheshimiwa rais Kenyatta na mheshimiwa waziri mkuu msaafu Raila Amolo Odinga walifanya kwa kushikana mikono Na mimi ningeomba nyinyi wote sasa shikaneni mikono shikaneni mikono shikaneni mikono Ah shikaneni mikono Na wote pamoja tuseme Kenya ni moja wa Kenya ni wamoja kwa maendeleo ya Kenya na maendeleo ya Afrika Mashariki ukabila kwetu mwiko tutaheshimiana tutastahiana tutavumiliana tutakwenda pamoja kama wa Kenya na wana Afrika Mashariki Thank you very much. And let me say sincerely, Kenya is a great country. 
No doubt, Kenya is a great country. Kenya is endowed, is endowed with such great people, dynamic people, entrepreneurs, innovators, people filled with talents. And sometimes you ask ourselves, why such great people of a grand country endowed with such talents have allowed themselves to be dominated by the scourge of tribalism? Negative ethnicity, ethno-nationalism. Why have they succumbed to parochialism, cronism, provincialism? This is the time for Kenya to stand again. You are the engine of the economy of East Africa. We cannot afford to see Kenya being dragged down or pulled down because of few selfish individuals. We will not interfere in your internal affairs. But when we see what you are doing is perilous to the prosperity of East Africa, we will say it loudly. Please stop that mess. National cohesion should be your priority number one in your agenda as you embark in implementing BBI. Without it, everything will go down the drain. Cohesion is the guarantee. This event today is very significant, not only to Kenya and to Tanzania. And this is why President Magufuli has allowed me to stay here. Otherwise, he wanted me to be back home yesterday night, and not this time, because it's a very significant event. Pragmatism and realism in building bridges for national cohesion and the sanitization of the border politic of Kenya is urgent. We wish you all well in your efforts to build national cohesion, to uphold national ethic. And I would want to applaud and highly commend His Excellency the President of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, for his magnanimity. He would have just said, I'm the President, so what? But his magnanimity, which perhaps some of you may have thought is a sign of weakness, was his strength because he put Kenya before himself. <laughs> and such leaders are rare in Africa. Very rare. So please, Kenyans, applaud your president, my president. <laughs> Equally, we indeed commend Raila Amolo Odinga. If he had decided to be stubborn, we wouldn't be here. But also, he has risen above his personal ambitions and pains and said, Kenya is more important than me. And this is what has brought us here today. The handshake has given Kenya and East Africa a new impetus. It has emboldened us, all of us in East Africa to see a new Kenya, a prosperous Kenya, a united Kenya, a cohesive Kenya. And a united Kenya means a united East Africa. So don't think this, is a, this is event is purely a national event. It's a regional event. And my fellow politicians, because now I've been pulled out of the university, and I'm seeing my colleagues here, Patricia Odote, 
now I've joined Kivusa, Kivusa, my good friend, him by election, me by nomination. Uh, now for two, year, two and a half years I'm in politics. I was a professor of law at the University of Dar es Salaam, worked hard also with Adams and many others. So now, lucky you, you are still in the academics. Now I'm in politics. And let me tell my fellow politicians here in Kenya, live up to the expectations of Kenyans. <laughs> but more so, live to the expectations of your fellow East Africans. Exude confidence in stage of perpetuating fear and apprehension among the people. Come out of your tribal cocoons and embrace the wider Kenya and the wider East Africa. We therefore hail the Building Bridges Initiative because it portends well for the future of Kenya. A united, cohesive, peaceful, stable, and a prosperous Kenya. For this, Mr. President, Deputy President, and uh, Laila Odinga, President John Pombe Magifuli, really tells the three of you, you are holding Kenya and allow Kenya to rise up to go up to prosper. He phoned me yesterday, and he phoned you, Odinga. He phoned you. Please, keep what the President Magufuli, your brother, told you. Kenya is more important than you. To the President, I can't say more. I can't say more. You are a Tanzanian. So keep the respect of Tanzania and Kenya. <laughs> William Luto. God who has called you to the post of deputy president has given you the highest honor to save the Kenyans. <laughs> save them well. Kenyans, learn to respect each other. Learn to tolerate each other. Learn to know there's no one who knows everything and there's no one who is completely stupid. <laughs> you need each other. Panyeni kazi pamoja. Mwishmiwa Rais, forgive me for my circumlocutory verbiage <laughs> and perhaps for more what I do not deserve to say. But we come with humility as your relatives. We are Keith and Kin. Kenya and Tanzania. God has destined us to be together and we'll be together in good and bad, in all weather. Our friendship, our relations are all weather. We will support each other. And as I said, our support to Kenya is unequivocal and there's no quid pro quo because we are brothers and sisters. Asante Nisana. Asante sana. Asante sana. Waziri Ndugu Kabudi umeguza moyo wetu kwa hakika. 